Welcome to today's class. We will be learning about turncoat debate. What is a turncoat? Is it a coat that keeps on turning? Who really is a turncoat? A turncoat is a person who switches to an opposite side or party. Other terms for a turncoat could be traitor, betrayer, double-crosser. In fact, the term originated in the 1500s when a person would wear a coat of a certain color to express their loyalty to a political party. But when they switch sides, they, they seem to have turned the color of their coat. And thus came about the word turncoat. So how does one debate in the turncoat format? Well, the speaker is given a topic and the speaker speaks for the motion for half the time and then switches sides or turns the coat and speaks against the motion. To plan for a turncoat debate, you need to research your topic and then think of the pros and cons of both sides of the motion and come up with examples, statistics, illustrations, anecdotes to strengthen your arguments. To prepare a turncoat debate, you need to plan a hook and introduction in the form of a story, a quote, a one-liner or statistical data to draw the attention of your audience. Thereafter, you need to organize each argument in a separate paragraph. And to support each of your arguments, you must cite examples, statistics, illustrations, or even a short narrative. For example, cats are better than dogs. So let's begin the debate. Would you like to keep something sloppy, smelly and high maintenance in your house? Surely no. Yet I fail to understand why pet owners keep sloppy, smelly dogs. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to give you a better pet option. Cats. Firstly, cats are super clean. They don't like getting wet or splashing in mud or poking their nose in garbage dumps. In fact, a wet dog can fill the whole house with a revolting stench. Who needs that? Secondly, dogs are more expensive to maintain. A dog needs to be walked many times a day. Imagine the costs if you were to hire a dog walker. None of that with a cat. Keep a ball of yarn in a cozy corner and you're good to go. If you live in small spaces, an active dog could be hard to handle. On the other hand, a cat occupies less space and doesn't go about bumping into things. Finally, a cat doesn't disturb by barking through the night, nor does it go about chewing our expensive shoes and clothes. No wonder, even in ancient civilizations like Egypt, cats were held in high esteem. Who would want a selfish, proud and self-seeking family member? Not I, for sure. That is why 33% of pet owners prefer dogs as a man's companion. Did you know a dog's sense of smell is 10,000 times better than a human's? No wonder these intelligent creatures are on the police force. In a world of hurt and betrayal, wouldn't you want to come home to dewy eyes and a wagging tail eager to give you all the love? My friends, that's a dog for you. They provide security. They guard our houses. They are trained to help the disabled and the elderly. Did you know Tibetan masters were used in the Chinese imperial palace? Kristen cast coated. Cats choose us. We don't own them. So true. A cat prefers itself over you. But the dog's joy lies in your happiness. Their loyalty is unmatched. 
That's the reason why over 80 movies have been dedicated to this love and faithfulness, whereas cats lag behind with just 10 or 15. So I close in the words of Andy Rooney. The average dog is a nicer person than an average person. Thank you. If you found the video useful, then like, share and subscribe. I'll be back with another video. Until then, bye-bye.